Starting out the month with the first video for Nocturnal November. Tonight, we've got me and Ethan on a sofa on the driveway headed to Site B. A little bit different set for you guys. But tonight, we are talking about binocular night vision versus PVS 14s. What do you think? We get into it? Let's do it. So, guys, this is to educate you and help you, hopefully, to decide between whether a binocular set of night vision or PVS 14 would be the right fit for you. So functionally, Ethan, can you just give them the uh, 30,000 foot view? What's the difference between binos and a PVS 14? Biggest thing you're gonna pick up when you're running binocular night vision over top of a PVS 14 is a little bit better depth perception. So real quick, the, the biggest bonus because you can see through glass and shoot passively with binos and have a little bit better depth perception. If you're doing a lot more active things like driving, running, riding a bike, anything like that, the binocular night vision is gonna shine a little bit brighter than the PVS-14, figuratively speaking, that is. It's gonna be more functional for things like that. The PVS-14 can do all of those things. I've done a lot of those things with just a standalone PVS-14, but the strength of deciding to go with just one PVS-14 is you can choose at any moment to couple it with a thermal, and you can do that very quickly. So from a function standpoint, what we're talking about with binos, I'm actually gonna grab my helmet here and pop them off. The binocular night vision has two objectives, two different image intensifier tubes in one unit, whereas a PVS-14 like Ethan's holding is a single image intensifier tube. I know that's super basic elementary stuff for everybody watching this channel, but it's important to note, there's a lot of people that are just getting into night vision that may not know that that's a PVS-14, this is a set of binos. Now, what I will say about binos versus PVS-14s, there's a lot of industry standards for PVS-14s, whereas when we get into binoculars, there's all kinds of different housings. I have the PD Pros in my hands here, but we also deal in BNVDs of various flavors, UL BNVDs, standard BNVDs, non-gain BNVDs. It can be a little bit overwhelming to decide which set of binoculars would be right for you. But this particular video, I wanna help people understand when do we go with a PVS-14? When do we consider binos? And I'm gonna boil down a couple different things. Obviously the price point of the binos is going to be much, much higher than a PVS-14. So probably I would say about a third of the price to get into a decent set of a decent PVS-14 versus a set of binos. Now the ones in my hands run about $11,000. What would something, you know, what could people expect to pay for PVS-14? Average price, roughly, give or take a little bit, depending on the exact make, model, tube you get, things like that, you're gonna spend about $3,000 to get a single PVS-14. So people that are budget constrained, that would have more uh, more of a, a dollar amount driving a decision, you would say probably PVS-14. PVS-14 is a great place to start. Do you think most people regret buying a PVS-14 to start? No. So I would, a I would lot of people that. will buy a PVS-14 and basically what they end up doing is they'll run this for a year or two and let's say they want to upgrade they either upgrade by adding the thermal or they upgrade by selling this PVS-14 to a buddy or keeping it as a buddy unit to hand to a buddy and then they buy the binos. Yeah. So it, it's just, it's essentially a gateway unit. It's something, you know, one thing I'll always say is it's better to have some form of night vision than no night vision. Exactly. So. And I think a lot of people sleep on the fact that a PVS-14 can be used for all sorts of different training, navigating, shooting, driving, all kinds of stuff. I know when I first got into night vision, I kind of slept on PVS-14s. I just didn't see their value necessarily. I also kind of got my toes wet more so with binos versus a PVS-14 to start. But I can tell you when I'm running drills and I'm on the flat range training fundamentals, I can run a PVS-14 extremely comparably to running a set of binos. I do not lose much at all. Big benefit, like Ethan said, is I have better depth perception with the binocular night vision device. But if I was somebody that's extremely budget conscious and I was paying attention to that and I wanted the ultimate in functionality and also the ability to build out, and I want Ethan to talk a little bit about his thermal setup then too, 
the ability to be able to couple the PVS-14 with another unit gives you a functionality that running just binocular night vision devices will just simply not give you. So one thing that I think is a clear, distinct benefit with the PVS-14 over the binos is hunting applications because of your setup. So give them just the 30,000 foot view of what you're running. So by being able to couple this PVS-14 with the thermal, it allows you to decide what unit you wanna use. So basically what I do is I end up using the PVS-14 for navigating. I'll use this while I'm driving in a farmer's lane. Don't wanna shine in his house, wake him up at 2 a.m. So I'm driving in with the PVS-14, but ultimately when I get out of the truck, heck, a lot of times I'll pop the PVS-14 off and put it in my pocket just to save weight on my head and my neck when I'm pulling an all-nighter. I don't need all that weight up there. I'll run, I'll focus with the thermal because when I'm looking for predators in the dark, this is gonna shine and show you them much faster than the night vision will. Except so, that one time, there, uh, there was, <laughs> was this one fox that I definitely picked up on fast. I'm just, Ultimately, just for the record, this a lot, is- A lot of that had to do with the fact that I was looking over there <laughs> <laughs> while you were looking where he was coming from, but- Shut up, let, let me have a win. <laughs> <laughs> just let me have the win. But okay, ultimately, I'll give it to you. <laughs> ultimately, the binos, man, they are a navigating, driving, walking, running, riding a bike or a motorcycle. They are a king when it comes to that kind of thing. But if you're finding even the remote chance that you want to get out hunting, ultimately, you could spend eight to twelve or thirteen thousand dollars on a set of binos. What do you think you have all in with the PVS 14, the MH25, your bridge setup? What would you say comparably? Not PBS, just roundabout. PBS 14 is about 3,000. The MH25 is about 4,000. So right there, if I can do math here, it's 7,000. Plus the bridge is a 600-ish bucks. That's 7,600 bucks. Plus the helmet mount, they're roughly about 500 oh, bucks. Yeah. So there you're about 8,100 bucks. Then you add the helmet, 300 bucks. Now you're at 8,400 bucks plus taxes if you got to deal with that. So you're looking at like $8,500, $8,700 for PVS-14, thermal, bridge, helmet, the whole nine yards. Yeah, so they're comparable, but at the same time, you're saving a couple thousand bucks potentially going this route. The thing that I really like for people that are on the fence between binos and PVS-14s, when you're building out PVS-14s in a setup like this bridge with thermal, you can really fine tune what image intensifier tube you decide to run with that setup. Maybe you don't need the most potent image intensifier tube because you might be relying heavily on the thermal like Ethan is. So there's a give and take where you're able to kind of create this ultimate combination in your unit. Whereas with the binos, you're just gonna run whatever tubes you decide on and then you're done. Right from there on out, you're running binos. The one other thing that I did wanna point out, some people are tempted to bridge PVS-14s together. You and I have some experience playing around with that. Can you just, Give people the down and dirty because I know some people that are watching this are going to be like, I'll buy one PVS-14 today, three years from now I'll buy the second. What are your thoughts? Wait. I take a PVS-14 off sometimes, like I mentioned before, while I'm hunting, and that's specifically to keep my, my neck from getting fatigued quickly. One PVS-14 weighs about 12 ounces, two PVS-14s weigh 24 ounces, then you add the weight of the bridge, you're talking 30 ounces some 32 ounces, something like that, when a set of binocular night vision can weigh 19 ounces total. So you're really chopping weight by going, jumping to the binoculars, depending on which housings you get. When you try and bridge two PVS-14s, it's functional, but you better be buff. And on top of that, we run into the collimation issues, which we've run bridge, we've run bridge PVS-14s with some success. I think a lot of that relies on the bridge itself. However, matching tubes, making sure specs are close enough, you can do it. And honestly, we're able to help you guys do that if you decide to go down that path. But I would tend to agree. Just boiling this down, let's give people kind of a recap. The person, and I'm gonna give my opinion and you give your opinion as we kind of close this out. If you are very budget-minded, you're very budget-constrained, 
oriented, I would say to start, consider the PVS-14. That is the gateway into night vision. It's gonna give you capabilities. You're gonna be able to see in the dark, which is a superpower. You can spend a little bit more time watching our content, digging into what image intensifier tube you might want, and then ultimately plan out your build from there. Because I'll tell you what, I would rather see people rocking a PVS-14, sure. saving those couple thousand bucks that they were gonna spend on binos, building your rifle. Build your rifle out to completely work with your kit. Plan out your build, and then put time into training. And that might be hunting, like you, Ethan. That's a real world application for night vision that trains you how to walk, run, shoot, see things, identify things. It is a real world application that you can train with. So the PVS-14, don't sleep on it. It does give you a superpower, super capability that you can then focus your energy and your time into other things. And I would say, if budget is not a constraint, maybe you're not out hunting coyotes, you're not necessarily focused on that, you're more of a prepared citizen looking to have a tool to be able to drive uh, ride a bike, motorcycle, shoot on the move, do all kinds of stuff, then maybe the binos make a lot of sense. And we can dive into other videos in the future for that. But that's my opinion. What's your rundown kind of distinguishing between who should consider the PVS-14, who should consider the binos? If you're on the fence, like you said, I'll just reiterate, and you're trying to decide, do I buy a PVS-14 or do I wait a year till I can buy a set of binos? Don't wait. Buy the PVS-14, get out there, Build the skills, however you see fit to practice with the unit. Build the skills, that way you have night vision of some flavor and you are acquiring a skill set. And then once you decide that you're ready, you have some more funds saved up, sell the PVS-14 to a buddy, whatever. Whatever you gotta do, you can figure that out then and, and upgrade at a later date. But having the skills and having some form of night vision is more important than not having anything at all. And that's another good point that I'm going to point out to people. We often have PVS 14s in stock. We almost always have some flavor of PVS 14 on hand. The binos, yes, we often have several different flavors of binos on hand, but they're going to be kind of curated to a certain style of tube, certain FOM rating. They're a little bit longer lead time to get into a set of binos typically. Now that varies, but oftentimes, and I want to be clear, I'm not encouraging impulse buying or going into gobs of debt to acquire night vision. But what I am saying is there's an aspect of what Ethan's talking about where you can get into a unit quickly, we can get you set up with a good one, you can be gaining that skill, those functions. And then if you do decide to jump to binos, it's gonna be seamless. You're gonna be able to go right from that PVS-14, throw those binos on and it's gonna be 100% seamless. Or build out a unit like Ethan and have ultimately the best of all worlds when it's surrounding thermal and night vision. So do you have anything else to add for people to consider? Nothing. I think it's a wrap. I hope that was helpful to you. Just a 30,000 foot view of PBS 14 versus binocular night vision. If you like what you saw, check out our Instagram. All month during November, we're in nocturnal November mode. So our Instagram is completely loaded with all kinds of night vision basic content. This is get you guys geared up in the right direction. So make a good decision with your money, get out, get some night vision, get trained, and become a better asset to your community. We appreciate you guys. We'll catch you in the next one.